Good afternoon, Grapefruit Bobcats. I'm Bob. And I'm Kat. Today is Monday, May 16th, 2022. And now please rise for the pledge. And now for some announcements. Just a reminder that the GSA group will meet today from 2.30 to 3.30 in the Bobcat Room. Thanks to all the Bobcats for having fun with the dodgeball tournament. Congratulations to the finalists, Kogan, Bulldog, Pricillo, and Rice. You gave us an exciting final game to watch and showed us a great example of sportsmanship and competition. Art club is tomorrow. Track practice is canceled due to the weather. And now for Word of the Week. Hi, this is Bob with Word of the Week, and this week's word is flamboyant, which means tending to, to an attraction of attention because the, of the confidence or stylish. Like when my brother wore a suit with crazy colors and odd patterns. It was very flamboyant, but I can't remember what, who, who, where he wore it to. Flamboyant. Can you use it? And now for jokes. <laughs> This is Jokes with Cap. How does the moon cut their hair? They eclipsed it. <laughs> and now for Ancient Warfare. This is Ancient Warfare with Bob and Kat. Today, we will be talking about the War Scythe. But Bob, what is a War Scythe? The War Scythe was a polearm-like weapon with a curved blade at the end, kind of like the agricultural farm scythe. The scythe was used by mostly people who, would, who could not afford proper weapons, such as swords, pikes, or guns. It was used most by angry mobs, peasants, and even the occasional infantrymen. There was even a battle in 1685, the Battle of Sedgemoor, where James Scott, the first Duke of Monmouth, took 5,000 peasants who were armed with war sites. That's all for Ancient Warfare. And now, back to the anchors. Respect, responsibility, and safety. It's the Bobcat Ray. You put the great and great brook. So have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye. Into the thick of it, into the thick of it, into the thick of it.